Providing they're set up correctly and properly cooled, most engines will not overheat and explode. In most cases, however, it's preferable to have some sort of failsafe, just to provide peace of mind. It's nice to be able to leave the engines operate on their own without being worried that they're going to explode and cause a lot of damage. Gates can easily be set up to function as a reliable failsafe. They're quite expensive to craft, so I don't recommend using them if you're just starting out in a relatively new survival game. Setting up a gate to automatically shut down an engine is easy. Firstly, you want to remove the redstone signal going to the engine, whether that be a lever, a redstone torch, or a redstone cable. Then you'll need to place the gate down on a transport pipe or waterproof pipe that's immediately next to the engine you'd like to have switched off. As you're well aware, engines will start off at the blue stage, and as they heat up they'll go to the green stage, then the yellow, then the red. They'll usually explode not long after reaching the red stage. In this example, I'm using the most basic type of gate, simply named gate. Once placed, right clicking on it will bring up its interface. You can set the box on the left so that if it detects that the engine is at the blue stage, a redstone signal will be activated. As soon as the gate recognises that this condition is true, a red line will appear here. Providing that the engine has fuel and is connected properly, it'll start up straight away. While the engine is running, it will generate heat. By right clicking on the engine and clicking this box, you can see the amount of heat that it has. In this example, I'm using the combustion engine, and when it reaches 2500 degrees, it'll go to the green stage. Going back to the gate's interface now, we can see that it has recognised that the engine blue condition is no longer true, and it stops sending the redstone signal, which has immediately shut the engine down. As soon as the engine stops operating, it will begin cooling. When the combustion engine drops below 2500 degrees, it'll go back to the blue stage. Again, the gate will recognise this and start sending the redstone signal again. Sometimes the combustion engine will take a little while to start back up, so just make sure it has enough fuel and give it a few minutes. If you have a combustion engine that for some reason refuses to start back up, you might want to check out my combustion engine troubleshooting tutorial which is available here. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't want to shut it off as soon as it gets to the green stage. I want to keep it going and shut it off only when it turns yellow or red. And that is quite easy to set up. You'll need to use a slightly more advanced ore gate. I recommend using an iron or a gold one. The iron gate gives you two rows and the gold gives you four. With multiple rows, you can set multiple conditions. Here, you can set it so that if the engine is at the blue stage, it will trigger a redstone signal, or if it's at the green stage, it will also trigger a redstone signal. If the engine gets any hotter and reaches the yellow or red stage, there is obviously no condition for that, and it'll simply shut down. And again, as soon as the engine shuts down, it will begin cooling, and as soon as it reaches the green stage, the redstone signal will be reactivated, and it will soon start back up. In the past, when I've explained this setup to people, they sometimes have a tendency to want to set a condition for the yellow stage. I guess they're trying to specify that if the engine reaches the yellow stage, they want it to switch off, so they put nothing in this box. It doesn't really work that way. Simply by not including a condition for the yellow or red stage will cause the engine to switch off. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like, and if you're interested in seeing more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and have a great day.